Today, President Obama began his three-country tour of Africa, starting here in Dakar, the capital of Senegal. The streets were full of energy over the last many days and weeks as the Senegalese prepared for President Obama's visit. He started his visit this morning by meeting with President Macky Sall. Many believe that he chose to start his visit in Senegal in order to underscore the importance of democratic institutions in Africa. During his remarks, Mr. Obama commended President Saul on his democratic reform. This afternoon, the president visited Gori Island, a very significant institution relative to the history of the slave trade. There, Mr. Obama and Mrs. Obama and the first family toured the quarters that slaves were held in prior to being pushed through the door of no return, through which African-American ancestors walked across planks onto ships that carried them to the new world. For an African-American and African-American president, uh, you know, to be able to uh, visit this site, uh, I think, gives me uh, even greater motivation in terms of the defense of human rights around the world. Mrs. Obama also had her agenda here in Senegal and today met with students at the Martin Luther King Middle School. There, she encouraged the students to do well in their studies and commended them for the hard work that they have demonstrated towards improving their lot in life. Tomorrow, the president will meet with leaders from the public and private sectors relative to agriculture. Food security continues to be an issue for Africans, and this meeting is meant to try to put in place policies and procedures that will ensure food security for Africans throughout the continent. And then Mr. Obama moves on to Johannesburg, where we will continue with our coverage. I am Teresa Clark for Africa.com. Please come to visit Africa.com at www.africa.com for additional information about the President's historic visit to Africa.